How do you clean stairs? It's a great question. We're going to talk about it today. Hi there, I'm Angela Brown, and this is Ask a House Cleaner. This is a show where you get to ask a house cleaning question, and I get to help you find an answer. All right, on to today's show. There's a house cleaner that called into the show, and she asked this question. Hello, my name is Jennifer Thomas, and I live in Huntsville, Alabama. I have a new company, Huntsville House Cleaning. I have a question about vacuuming stairs. Two different homes that I clean, one has low pile like indoor outdoor carpet and the other has short shag I guess it's called freeze anyway both of these desperately need a good vacuuming and I was wondering if you could recommend something to vacuum them with the upright was horrible to try the low pile I've used a broom but I just need some advice on what to use thank you very much Hi, Jennifer. I'm so glad you asked this question. It's a question that comes up a lot because there are a lot of stairs in a lot of people's homes. And so as house cleaners, we have to navigate the stairway. How do you do it? So a lot of houses have stairs that have no carpeting whatsoever. And then there are houses that have, like you said, the smaller carpet, which is probably a Berber carpet. And then there are carpets that are thicker and they're harder to clean. All right, so what you want to do is not bring special equipment with you, but find out what the customer has that's going to make that job easier. So if they have a vacuum that has a hose on it, do they have a hose attachment? Because a hose attachment will allow you to vacuum the stairs while just keeping the vacuum in one spot. And now you might have to kind of hold the vacuum with your foot or kind of prop it up against the side of the stairs. It is hard if it's an upright vacuum, but if it has a vacuum with a hose, The hose often will allow you then to use an attachment. The challenge for most people's stairways is there's not a plug for the vacuum that is near the stairwell. I hate that. I don't know why. And so if they have an extension cord, maybe you use an extension cord. There's also a smaller vacuum on the market. There are lots of stick vacuums. And if the customer has a stick vacuum, I recommend that instead because you charge the the motor, but you don't actually need the cord while you're vacuuming. And that plugs into a smaller head. This is the head that that plugs into. And this is about the size of the width of a stair. And so you can run this up and down on a stair and vacuum the stair without ever having a corded vacuum. So that's also an option. Now, when you get to the stairs that have the smaller pile, like the Berber carpet, what I recommend is probably just a brush and a big dustpan because Instead of bringing special equipment, if they don't have one, you can bring this with you. So this is something that's easy to clean. It's easy to sanitize when you're done. And then you have it for every stairway that you're going to use. So when you get to the top of the stairway, we'll start at the top and work our way down. Starting at the top, you'll brush the stairs into the dustpan. And so whatever's on that stair will go into the dustpan. And then you literally just move down a stair and you brush that and then move down a stair and you brush that until you get to the bottom of the stairs and you have a whole dustpan full of gunk that you then put in the trash and you're done. Now you may want to wipe the stairs down if like the edges are made of wood and it's visible. If you haven't wiped down the spigots of the stairs or you haven't wiped down the edges, you may want to do that separately. For the separateness, what we do is we take a neutral pH floor cleaner and this is going to be about a number seven. You see a big seven on my container. That's what that's for. And then I use a dust mitt. This is a microfiber dust mitt that allows me to spray with one hand and this kind of mop with the other. <laughs> so there's no standing water. It's not really wet. We've already swept or dusted the area. And that gives you a chance then just to wipe it down so it's neat and tidy before you're done. It doesn't have to be fancy. It just has to be clean. One of the other options for dusting wood stairs that don't have any carpet whatsoever, and I love this if the customer has a spin mop. This is a spin mop that has a microfiber head to it. And so you see all of these little strands are made of microfiber and they're flexible. So just to sweep this along the edge of the stairs, what happens is this goes where the spigots are and it kind of wraps around the spigots and it dusts that area as well. So it does a really great job just using this as a dry mop. So it wasn't designed to be a duster, but I love it for that fact. And then if you have to go over the banister to get that little ridge, that maybe is hard to get, or if you can't get to it very well, then you can put this over the banister and you can get the area all the way down, going all the way down the stairs. And you have a lot of um, ability to do that because you have the handle to hold onto. So you're not bending over or putting your, your body in a weird position. 
so it's not dangerous at all. You just use your big mop as a duster. So that's super cool. All right, so there are a couple different options. The secret is to find one that works for you in the home. Because like I said, in most homes, there are only 16 to 20 stairs at most. That's just an average home. And so you don't want to be bringing special equipment with you, but you use the equipment that you already have or use equipment that the customer has, like the, the stick vacuum, if they already have one. So that would be my suggestion for cleaning stairs. But once the stairs are clean, boy, oh boy, do they look nice. Alrighty, I hope this helps a little bit. If it does, give us a thumbs up. Leave your comments in the notes below so we can carry on the conversation. And until we meet again, leave the world a cleaner place than when you found it. Thank you.